Live from NPR News, I'm Janine Herbst. Israel continues its offensive against militants in the Gaza Strip. Israel reportedly does not have ground forces in Gaza, as its spokespeople had said earlier. But it is continuing the ongoing airstrikes and called up 9,000 reserve troops. Israel launched the offensive to counter more than 1,700 rockets fired into Israel by Gaza militants that have killed seven people, including two children in Israel. The Palestinians are suffering much heavier casualties, with officials in Gaza saying at least 109 people have been killed, including 28 children. The CDC says people who are fully vaccinated against COVID-19 don't have to wear masks in most indoor and outdoor settings. At the White House today, President Biden called it a great day for America and that the vaccination rate is to thank. To date, we've given out 250 million shots in 114 days. And we're seeing the results. Cases are down in 49 of 50 states. The CDC says, though, that this easing of max guidance could change if the pandemic gets worse, and it doesn't apply to public transportation or health care settings. Meanwhile, adolescent children ages 12 to 15 have begun streaming into vaccination sites around the country following the CDC's emergency use approval of the Pfizer vaccine for that age group yesterday. Kenneth Burns from member station WHYY reports demand for the shot among kids in New Jersey has been strong. A mega vaccination site in Burlington County outside of Philadelphia set aside 800 appointments for adolescents to receive their first Pfizer shot. Liz Byam drove an hour with two of her kids from the Jersey Shore. She says they were excited to get vaccinated. There was a lot of woo-wooing on the way here. Many of the kids here are looking forward to having a normal life again. 14-year-old Donald Kukazella says he missed doing things with his friends. Just going inside with my friends and just playing video games inside and just having a lot of fun with them. People under 18 account for more than 100,000 of New Jersey's COVID-19 cases. For NPR News, I'm Kenneth Burns in Morristown. The trial of three former Minneapolis police officers charged with aiding and abetting in the death of George Floyd has been pushed back to March of next year. It had been scheduled for August. Judge Peter Cahill says he's postponing the criminal trial to allow the federal civil rights case against the officers to go first. He also cited the likely publicity that will surround the June 25th sentencing of former officer Derek Chauvin, convicted of second-degree murder and other charges in Floyd's death. He was the officer who held his knee on Floyd's neck as he repeatedly said he couldn't breathe. Wall Street higher by the closing bell. The Dow up 433, Nasdaq up 93, S&P 500 up 49. You're listening to NPR News.